Thank you for tuning in to a Rima Moment with Apostle Raymond Wells. Come peace at the table where the Rima word is shared. Come drink from the fountain where the living waters flow. Come peace at the table where the Rima word is shared. Come drink from the fountain where the living waters flow. He promised us that he would be a counselor. A mighty God and the Prince of Peace. He promised us that he would be a father. And he would love us with a love that would not cease. Well, I tried it. And I found this promise is a truth. He's everything I dreamed that he would be. The finest words I know I had to tell just what she upon my heart to uh, dub this month the month of kingdom prosperity. Say kingdom prosperity. Amen. And you who have been following this ministry, you who are a part of this church, know that uh, our threefold assignment to the body of Christ is order, excellence, and kingdom prosperity. God has placed an anointing upon my life to uh, help persons who life is out of order to get in order because God only blesses order say God only blesses order the Bible said let all things be done decently and in order God only blesses order you can you can fall to act strange and act contrary and think God's gonna bless you amen you may get some little spry on your life but not until you make a conscious decision to get your life in order, in line with the word of God, you will begin to see the blessings of God in your life. Your marriage must be in order. A uh, husband must know his place. The wife must know her place. Your children must know their place. Amen. The, 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 the church must be in order. God have the church set up in three categories. The governmental leadership, which is the five-fold ministry gifts, and then you have the congregational leadership, those who support the pastor and the leaders to help them fulfill the vision that God has placed in the heart of the church, and then you have the congregation. Amen. So the church must be in order if we're going to see the, pro the power of God. And then uh, excellence, excellence. Uh, too many of us have been settling for mediocre and mediocrity and settling for anything. It is God's will that we walk in excellence. God have great things in store for us. God don't want you walking with your head hang down. 
Do I have a witness in here? God wants you walking with your head lifted up, not in pride, but in confidence, knowing that he was wounded for your transgression. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. With his stripes we heal. Praise God, he, will, he became poor so you and I can be made rich. So it's God's will that you excel. It's God's will that you move from glory to glory. God don't want you settling. God don't want you settling. You are a royal priesthood. You are a peculiar person. You have been called out of darkness into his marvelous light to show forth the praises of God in the earth. Do I have a witness? Uh huh. So he did not only assign me to bring the people to order or, or, or excellence, but it's God's will that I raise up a people, and he, I believe, has anointed me to do this, to bring a people to a level of prosperity. Pros say prosperity. Now, I need you to get this in your spirit for this month because I'm not playing with it. I want you to get to a place where, praise God, you appreciate the fact that it's God's will that you prosper. Come on, somebody. Be in health even as your soul prosper. Touch someone gently and say, neighbor, I'm going to prosper. If, 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 if the world can prosper, then why we who are, are heirs and joint heirs with Christ Jesus cannot prosper. The Bible said if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and you are heirs according to the promise. What was the promise? He said to Abraham, I will bless you. Come on, y'all. I will make your name great. I will bless who bless you and I will curse who curse you. And he said all family of the earth shall be blessed. Hit your name and say it's God's will that you be prosperous. It's God's will that you be prosperous. So the month of May, I'm going to be talking about kingdom prosperity. Say kingdom prosperity. Say kingdom prosperity. What is kingdom prosperity, apostle? What is kingdom prosperity? We shared with you last week that kingdom prosperity is God's way of prospering his people. It is God's way of prospering his people. We said that kingdom prosperity is the kind of prosperity that glorifies God. We said kingdom prosperity is seeking God's way of doing things and all things being added to you. We said that kingdom prosperity is you and I prospering in spirit. We must have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Prospering in our mind, our mind, our soul, our mind must be renewed based on the word of God. And praise God, prospering in our bodies. We said that, praise God, according to Psalms 103, that there are some benefits that is laid down in the word of God. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Praise God, who forgive us of all our, our, our sins. Praise God, who heal us from all our diseases. Praise God, who redeem our lives from destruction, who satisfy our mouth with good things. You see, and it's God's will that your mouth be satisfied with good things. Do I have a witness in here? Amen. You think, you think for the rest of your life as a child of God, God, it is only God's will that you eat noodles, go to bed on peanut butter and bread. The devil and his mama is a liar. God wants you to be able to go to whatever restaurant you want to go to. Come on, somebody. He wants you to eat what you can afford to eat. He wants you to fly and go where you want to go. He wants you to not only fly coach, he wants you to fly first class. Say first class. We are first class people. And don't you let nobody, praise God, tell you anything differently. It is God's will that we prosper and be in health even as our soul prosper. Hit your neighbor and say, neighbor, prosperity is in my genes. Hallelujah. If he can deliver me from destruction, if he can save me, hallelujah, and deliver my soul from iniquity, praise God, then he should be able, praise God, to save me from poverty. Can I, do, can I say this to you? Poverty is not God's will for your life. Poverty is just as detrimental as cancer. 
poverty is just as detrimental as somebody who got mess in their mind, who go into sandalins and need treatment. Praise God, poverty is just as bad. Come on, somebody, as someone getting divorced. Poverty is just as bad, praise God, as any other curse. Don't you let nobody tell you it's not God's will that you prosper. If I could have peace of mind, I could have some money in my pocketbook. If I could have healing in my body, then I can have, come on somebody, healing in my pocketbook. If I can be saved from my sin, I can be saved from poverty. It is God's will. That's one of my benefits, and I'm going to walk in it because it's God's will for my life. I want the rest of this month, praise God, your mind be saturated, praise God, with not only holiness and righteousness, but I want your mind to be saturated with the wealth of God. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't saying nothing. As a man think it in his heart, so is he. You not what you eat, you are what you think. And if you stop thinking like a dynamic servant of God, if you stop thinking like a millionaire, if you stop thinking like a blessed woman of God, God will begin to manifest it in your life. Come on somebody, you got to get to a place even though you can't afford it, think like you can afford it. You may not be driving it, but act like you're driving it. You can't, come on y'all, you may not be eating it now, but act like you're eating it. Hallelujah. Eat your corn your corned beef like you eating steak. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. You got to learn how to do it. Hallelujah. As a man think in his heart. I think holy. I think righteous. I think like a man, praise God, of integrity and righteousness. I think, praise God, as a husband who loved my wife, a father who takes care of my children. I think like a shepherd that pleases God. I think like it. As a man thinking in his heart, so is he. I'm sick and tired of the body of Christ settling for anything. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are a lender and not a borrower. You would what God said you are. You can do what God said you can do. You can have what God said you can have. And the promises of God is in him, yea, and amen. And if God said it, if you believe it, that settles it. Do I have a witness in the Lord's church? Shake your neighbor half five and say, neighbor, you and the devil and your friends to have a problem because I can drive it, I can live in it, I can wear it, I can eat it, and then I'm going to give God the best out of it. The reason why the devil don't want us to teach this and preach this, because the devil know if you get it, the gospel of the kingdom will be preached around the world. He know if you get it. Your tithe going to increase. Your offering going to increase. The preacher can travel without a burden. Come on, somebody. We can buy houses. We can give away cars. We can take care of the poor. We can take care of the needy. We can take some of you out of debt. And the Bible said they sold their possessions and goods, and everyone who had need had their needs met. That's the will of God for the church. We give you four Ps. Four Ps last week, if the church is going to be influential in the earth. Four Ps. We need God's presence in it. We need the presence of God in the church. And my prayer is that whenever you walk in this building, you don't see personality. You feel the presence of God. If we're going to influence the earth, we don't just need his presence, we need his power. We not only need his power, we need prosperity. And we don't only need prosperity, we need people. If anybody should have the money, it's us who live in holy. Because when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, the people cry. That's why some of you are crying now. Living waters is rising to the top. And I prophesy, millionaires will come up out of this place. Hallelujah, and our name will be great, not only in this city, around the Bahamas of Islands, around the Caribbean, and the world will know there are a people who are ready to take over. Do I have about 50 of you in here? Hallelujah. I need about 50 millionaires to drop on their feet and say, I feel that with you. As a matter of fact, I just see a million over your head. Up above your head, I see a million 
in the air. Up above your head. It's time off for us letting the world make us stupid. Preacher can't talk about money because all he wants is your money. Stop being stupid. If the preacher could talk about holiness, righteousness, come on, integrity and in living, if he can talk about how important it is for you to love your wife, love your children, come on, y'all. He, fee he feeds the poor, gives to people, bless people's life. Hallelujah, glory to God. You can let some worldly people who, ha who have no sense of direction from the word of God tell you when the preacher starts to talk about prosperity, all he wants is your money. Stop being crazy. I want you to love your wife as Christ loved the church with money. I want you to live holy with money. Y'all ain't hearing me. I want when I say we need to buy this. Hallelujah. I got one person can jump up and say, I got that apostle. We need to pay somebody mortgage off. I got that apostle. Tell your neighbor, fix your face. Fix your face like a millionaire. Fix your face. Let me see the hands of those who know it feels better with money. Turn your Bibles to our, uh, the verse of scripture that we have for the year. Job 36 and 11. I can't wait for y'all. If they obey and serve me, they will spend their days. Say it. Say it. Say it. And their years and what? If they obey and serve me, they shall spend their Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tide day. Monday again, the days in prosperity and 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and pleasures. It's important for you to know this because if you get this, you will be going back to the world. If you understand your worth, and we're going to talk about it in a little bit, and your value as a child of God, you will not be bowing to the world. The world got to come to you. Yeah. There's no peace for the wicked. That is set on the hill that cannot be hid. You are the salt, you are the light, you are the city. Set where? Said where? Said where? You better hold me, but if I fall, they'll beat you. Said where? It means that we're supposed to be able to oversee everything. People supposed to look up at us. Not us. Look up at them. We're supposed to look. They're supposed to look up at us. Look up at our behavior. Look up at our prosperity. Look up at us. We're supposed to be walking in dominion. When you walk upon your job, they're supposed to respect you. You support, come on, y'all. They're supposed to look up at your marriage. They're supposed to look up at your children. They're supposed to look up at your success. They're supposed to look up at your business. They're supposed to look, y'all ain't saying nothing in here. Stop diminishing yourself and coming down to people who's supposed to come up to you. Watch this. Nor do they light a lamp. And put it on their basket, but on the lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine, so that man can see your good works. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. My question to you, when was the last time the world glorified your Father because of your behavior? Because of your productivity. Because of your ability to bear fruit. Look up at me. Keep your eyes right here. Because after today, you will not be looking down. You will continue to look to the hills 
from whence coming your help. Knowing that your help, I feel my daddy anointing on me. Knowing that your help come from the Lord. Matter of fact, I release an anointing on you right now. Hallelujah, to prosper in every area of your life. I declare you shall live and not die. You shall declare the works of the Lord. Then God is true with you. Hallelujah. Men will testify if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side. Somebody shout amen. Deuteronomy 28. Y'all go get your Bible. Keep looking up, son. Keep looking up. Keep looking up. You hear what I just said? Keep looking up. Only what's on me can fall on you. If I stay up, keep looking up. And if you keep looking up, God will bring you up. I feel God now. Y'all gonna cost me preach up in here. That's why the Lord always got to move your man of God up first. So that you can have someone to look up to. And if God can do it for me, he sure enough can do it for you. Somebody shout in the house. I ain't coming down right now. I feel good up here. I feel good up here. I got to deputize you for the next 30 seconds to stand up in the chair. If it break, we'll fix it. But you just, you're moving to a higher place in the name of Jesus. I Stand up right now in your chair. Stand up. Take that camera. Shoot it over there. Let every... Stand up. Let them see you. I hear God saying, I will take you higher in every area of your life. Eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into your heart. The things that God has prepared for you. And the Lord said to tell you, don't let no nigga, don't let nobody pull you down. I've made you to be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. I'm finished. Put your hands together and bless him. 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 I'm finished. Don't miss this. I'm finished. I feel a running in my spirit. I feel a breakthrough up in here. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm not settling. The devil is a lie. I'm not settling. I'm more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. Poverty is defeated. Cancer is defeated. High blood pressure got to come down to normal. If God be for you, who can be against you? You shall live and not die. I prophesy over your life. I speak to every blood disorder. I command healing in your body. I speak to your kidney. I command healing. I speak to every back condition. I speak healing now. Every out of order child, I command them to get in order. Every marriage, hallelujah, I command it to get in order. I speak peace over your mind. You've been losing sleep. I declare rest for your very soul. Your very soul. Shake your neighbor half out. Say, neighbor, I'm excited for what the Lord getting ready to do in my life. Anybody can feel that God is raising up in you. Hallelujah, an anointing to break every yoke. I don't care how it look now. The Lord said, I tell you, the best is yet to come. Grab somebody, hit them high five and say, neighbor, you are unstoppable. You might have been delayed, but you're not denied. This is your year of the greatest breakthrough. You all ain't hear me? I prophesy the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of my father, everything he promised for this year shall speak and lie. Don't it tarry, wait for it, for it shall come to pass. Move 
somebody in your seat, grab somebody and say, neighbor, it shall come to pass. What's coming to pass? Your child's deliverance. What's coming to pass? The increase in your business. What's coming to pass? Peace in your marriage. What's coming to pass? Joy in your home. What's coming to pass? Promotion that no man can get the credit. It's going to come from God. He takes down and he lifts up. And I got a word for somebody. There are some people who've been pulling you down. But the Lord said their time has been canceled. Their time has been stopped. And the Lord said, I tell you, this is your season. This is your hour. This is your time. Dry your eye. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Go back to the bank. I hear the Lord say, it is well. 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 Go so find somebody. Say, neighbor, the reason why the enemy turned up the heat, because this breakthrough is going to break you out. And the Lord said to tell you, keep your eyes on him. Give me praise in the midst of it. And if you praise me in the midst of it, every wall will come down. Everybody will be exalted. I need somebody in here who believe the word of the Lord to give God glory. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! For more information about the Rhema Moment or how to obtain a copy of today's message, call the number on your screen or email rhema at lwkm.org. Join us next week on A Rhema Moment, the telecast where we are reaching out to give life through the Word of God. I want you to get this. I want you to understand this. You shouldn't allow no one to have that much influence over your life, including the devil. Come on, somebody, to steal your praise, steal your joy. When you go to work, you work with joy. You celebrate God with joy. And I believe God will continue to work in you his will, work in you his purpose, and eventually, see, it don't come from the east nor from the west. What's discouraging some of you? You're looking for the wrong person to promote you. Promotion come from above. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. God will walk over folks. God will step over people. He will just step over them. And then he will pull you from the back. And he said, you're being faithful over a few things. Now you're ready to be made ruler over many. But y'all ain't doing it for joy. Come and be a part of any of the following preaching engagements with Apostle Raymond Wells.